Let's see if we can uh, go forward. <laughs> My name is Ali, so I am foreigner, but I've been living here for like eight years. Mm -hmm. So what are the basic rules whenever you live in Russia? It's like barbecue or it's called like shishlik. So it's like one of the most important things that you have to learn here, because it's like if you don't go out for barbecue or shishlik, sure not even Russian, you will never mix with the society here. The pieces should be bigger, but for today we make it small also, just to cook it faster. It's like a special dance for shishlik, right? <laughs> the shishlik dance? Yeah, yeah, shishlik dance. Yeah, good. So what are the basic rules whenever you want to go out for, for barbecue? So, first of all, you need vodka. And you need a good one. So you need a Russian one. Amir, привет. Будешь танцевать? Шашлик данс. Молодец, это шашлик данс. Он лучше танцует, чем ты. Да, он Вот, он умеет, он знает это просто. Second of all, Whenever you drink vodka, you have to drink it like without mixing it with anything, right? mm -hmm. like how we used to do in our countries. So I've been asked by quite a few people to make some more videos about shashlik. So I um, actually completely forgot about that, but luckily I had the camera in the car, so today we're outside of town having a shashlik in like an area where you actually have to pay a little bit of money um, and they give you your own like table they bring the barbecue for you um, yeah it's only like 10 quid that's actually about two quid per person I think it is and um, yeah there's just like loads we're number 32 so there's probably about 50 like little areas we've all got roofs with them a uh, little sort of, sort of like handmade bench and table and um, yeah so we're just out here with friends. It's actually the beginning of September and we're just gonna enjoy some food, some barbecue, as Russians call it, Russians call it shashlik. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll film a little bit for you and hopefully it'll be interesting. As you probably know, in Russia, shashlik is really popular. It doesn't really matter what the weather is. People, you know, you'll be winter here, it'll be minus 20 and there'll still be full of people cooking shashlik. So any birthday, any celebration, anything like that, then people will come out of town and uh, and make shashlik. Uh, second of all, you have to buy some good meat, not just like the shitty one that they sell. It's like mm -hmm. called like uh, like it's like uh, ready meat with mm -hmm. like sauce. Uh -huh. No, you have to buy like good one. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you mix it yourself the, yeah, the spices, course, yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's better because you can choose which kind of spices you like to mm -hmm. have. Because, like the ones that they sell, which is like ready, it's like always like an old meat. Mm -hmm. So the spices will hide the the taste. Давайте выпьем сегодня первый день осени и день знаний. Вот, давайте выпьем за это. Давай, давай. Ура! Uh, then you have to find a good place. So now, in Russia, you can go, you can go out and do uh, barbecue any place, mm -hmm. in any place, because it's like restricted. So there are like these like big parks where you can rent a place like this. Mm -hmm. It's like so, it's like so nice. First of all, second of all, it's not, it's not expensive. Like anyone can afford it. Third of all, you have all the basic things that you need. So that's like. The third rule. So we're cooking chicken wings, which is the favorite one that we like to cook, and then also some pork that my friend really likes to cook. First of all, you have to find a good company. Mm -hmm. So you just don't go out with like 
like <laughs> people who know for like a lot of years mm -hmm. sometimes it's good to take with you like people who just met mm -hmm. because russians will love it and it's like shishlik is the place where you can meet new people you can like have fun plus you're drinking so you're gonna like be friends forever